What's up? So, uh, I know it's been a little bit. Sorry about that. I uh, wanted to at least throw this short video up here for you guys. Uh, I know the last video I said was going to be on, what, grabbing the opponent? I, I ran into some issues with that. But I just wanted to get this video up so you know that I'm still, <laughs> I'm still doing these. I promise I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you guys, but um, yeah, no, I will, I will continue to do this. So uh, at least wanted to get this one up here. So like I said, again, you know that I'm still making these. Um, I will be back. I was planning on working on some stuff on 5.5. So uh, I will, I will have that video up. I might do some more. Um, and then after that, I am planning on working on the uh, the AI and then the game modes. Got some cool stuff coming up on the game modes. Um, I don't necessarily know how to videos on those, but definitely some cool stuff on I know things that I would love to see in a game. So I'm I'm putting them in this one. It'll be awesome. But uh, this one's on modifying the uh, the FX and well, let's see if I can just make this one a pretty short video. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is how I did this one. I kind of found found it on accident. I was basically messing around with the files and I went into effects and then it is in particles and impacts and it is this one impact sparks character. So uh, I ended up opening this one up and it's this one, this NE impact sparks. Um, so this is actually one that you can go to if I think if you right click on it and you go to show in content browser, you can actually edit it here. Um, I'm not doing that just because I think that modifies a couple others. So um, going back into it, really the only two things that we're going to modify in here, um, you've got this minimum and maximum. Uh, I bumped those up because what we do is we set the color down to a deeper red um, and it makes it a little bit harder to see. So adding more of the particles makes it uh, easier to see. Um, and then really what I did is I just, you hit control shift R on this. I don't know why it didn't work. Sorry, not control shift, alt shift R. Uh, and then I see what's referencing it. And that's this character damage taken. So let's go ahead and browse to the asset. We'll go ahead and open that up. You can actually open it right from the editor if you hit edit. But uh, but we go into here and it's right here, right? This Niagara component, this is what you're calling. So um, that's the Niagara component. We modify it and that's going to be able to call that. Uh, but actually there's there's a bunch of stuff right here. I know it looks like spaghetti. Um, yours will not look like this. Yours is only gonna have this, right? Uh, I have all of this in here because I wanted you to see what I did. Um, I'm eventually gonna delete this uh, and this, but I at least wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing so far. So in the demo video, uh, at the beginning I was, I was running this one. And what I did with these is I actually downloaded these. These are, um, I think it is the, What's mega? It's the Mega Scans Blood. I'd uh, have to give it a fab. I don't know if they're still free, um, but they have a whole bunch of them, right? So what? I, oh, sorry, I gotta go up, not back. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of these. Obviously, not all of them look great, so I only selected those. Um, I'm running on a random int, plugging that into here, and then everything of these I'm grabbing. Uh, what you're gonna have to do is you have to disconnect this pin, and then you're going to let me actually show you. Uh, you'll go ahead and right click and then you split it, right? So you split that and that's where you get this. Um, the reason why I have a random float here is this adds a rotation, a random rotation to it. Uh, if you don't, I mean, you don't have to do that, but I just, I think it gives it um, a little bit more of a random look. So you're throwing in some random, so not every gunshot's gonna be the same, um, but really just follow the same things. Um, this one though, notice with these decals, I changed the size a little bit. Uh, I think that was really the only other thing. Um, sorry, I did. They're staying on there for 120 seconds rather than five, and then they're going to slowly fade out. I may do something where I start to bleed, um, right? Like if I, I kind of have the blood spread, uh, but we'll 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 see about that later. So, um, and then we just go into the the basic effects. So really, that's that's it. It's not really too hard to set that up. Um, However, if you either can't get the um, bloodstain decals or you, let's say you want to make your own, um, it's actually not too hard. So you can pretty much grab, I mean, this is just a normal PNG file. I think whoever made this, um, I'll throw the link in the uh, description below. Um, but look, AI generated, right? So uh, pretty, pretty simple, do whatever you want. Um, and then just do basically a new material. When you open it up, um, all you really do is grab that, go into the material, and you're going to drop it. Uh, the only thing you got to do is then plug this into the base and the A, I forget what the A stands for, 
um, into the opacity. Make sure you turn this into a deferred decal. It will not work uh, if you don't have it. Uh, I think if you have anything else other than the decal, it won't work. And then you want to make sure this is translucent. So that's pretty easy. I mean, you can set that up. Um, as you can see, I was running that here and that was working. Um, really, that's it. I mean, that's all you have to do to to turn it into the the bloody mess, I guess, that you see rather than the sparks make it NC17. Um, in the future, we could talk about mesh material and blowing people's heads off and stuff like that in games, but I at least wanted to get this one up for you guys. So hopefully this one's pretty quick. Um, bonus, I will show you guys if you go to on execute, um, the little numbers that pop up over your head, that's going to be these nodes right here. And then uh, if you notice, I'm just bypassing those. So um, just that on execute and that same one, you just come up and around. You still have to get this evaluate weak spot. Uh, and then you have to go here, which is why I'm showing you how to go up and over. Um, or you could just delete it, I think. Um, but you can make sure you reconnect all of the pins. So uh, that's it. Uh, again, I will continue um, making videos. <laughs> Sorry, that it's been a little bit of a wait with the last one. I uh, ran into some issues. But I will get that fixed in the, uh, the near future for you guys. So uh, again, that time, like, subscribe. Uh, hit me up with the comments. I'm, I'm going to go through. I haven't answered comments in a while. been a little frustrated with trying to get something to work, but I will go through. I will answer uh, some of the comments in some of the previous videos. If you have anything here, let me know. Um, any comments, suggestions in the future, just leave them below. And then, sorry, I will see you guys next time.